Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shay Yee and this is The Daily Shay Yee where we talk about all things life, beauty, style, etc, etc. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. Today's video, we are going to attempt this fox eye trend, essentially a cat eye for being 100% honest. I think it's been seen on like Gigi Hadid, and Gigi, Bella, is it Bella? Maybe it's Bella. I think Megan Fox used to do this look when she was, you know, like on the scene and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? This looks pretty simple. I want to try it. So if you would like to see how to achieve a fox eye look, then just continue watching her. So, you know, I wore something to commemorate the occasion, you know, my little cheetah print blouse. I figured, you know, let me be in theme with what we're trying to do today. Believe it or not, um, this is my third time recording this video. <laughs> Third time is usually always a charm. So let's hope that this goes well. I'm going to first go in and do my brows. And I'm also gonna do my brows a little different. I usually kind of like do like that bushy style with like not too much product, but this time I'm actually gonna like line my brows, fill them in, and they're gonna be a bit darker because I feel like this look calls for that. I was looking back at old pictures and I used to do my brows kind of like this. <laughs> I was really enhancing that arch girl look at McDonald too. And then I'm going to fill them in a bit with another brow crayon. And it's the same, has a spoolie on one end and a crayon on one end. So it's definitely very convenient. I'm going to carve out the bottom of my brow. Now I don't normally do this. But I feel like, again, for this look, I need my eyes to be as precise and sharp as possible. All right, so I'm taking this Morphe M167 brush and I'm going to use that to basically stamp the concealer right under my brow. And then I'm just gonna take the rest of that concealer and apply it on my lid because I do want a neutral base to start with and my lids are a bit darker than the rest of my face. Now I'm going to set my eyes because for this look it's gonna it's gonna be using shadow that needs to be diffused properly. I'm also going to um, just set my brows as well. That's the thing that I've been doing because it helps to not make my eyebrows too like oily. I have not primed my face so let me go ahead and do that. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Mattifying Primer. This is my go-to. I like the way it applies. It does keep me pretty matte, and it is drugstore as well, so very affordable. We're gonna first start off by applying some color to the crease. And so I am taking my Morphe MB23 brush, and this is this like kind of fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna take the Jackie Eye in the palette, and I'm going to take, oh, I'm hitting pan on one of the shades. Well, I've already hit pan on credit. <laughs> and I'm about to hit pan on ginger. You kind of see the metal peeking through. So I think I'm going to take a mix of ginger and a teensy bit of credit just to deepen my crease a little bit. It's a very subtle crease, but you can definitely tell the difference between this eye and this eye. I'm going to take a slightly more dense fluffy brush, and this is from Morphe as well. This one is beat up, baby. Oof, chap. This one is going through it. She is going through it, but it's their B73 brush. B73? Yeah, B73, and I'm gonna take credit, and I'm going to dab that right at this outer like edge. So right over here, because the eye look is going to pull upward, and so we just wanna make sure that we're concentrating the color here, like I'm not really applying any color over here because not necessary. Just blend that out a little bit just to kind of diffuse it. We don't want it to look like a wing too much. We just want it, the color to be concentrated on that outer edge. I'm going to take a more kind of tapered brush and this is an eyeliner brush from e.l.f. and it has this like kind of flat edge. We're going to dab her into credit which is that dark brown shade once again and now I'm actually going to like kind of define this wing just a little bit more so you really see it. Taking it here and bringing it as I would a normal wing. And I'm tapering it out on the edges because I do want you to see that kind of point. And it's okay to be dramatic with that taper because 
this needs to look like our eyes are being pulled upwards. So the more you kind of, I mean, obviously you don't want to pull your liner all the way over here. Don't do that. <laughs> but the more you pull out, the more it will kind of exaggerate this look. I also love doing looks like this because I already have big eyes. My eyes are big, y'all. Looks like this kind of like, I don't know, they just exaggerate my eyes even more, which, you know, there was a point in time where I would never do that, but we're talking about growth here. Look at me. I'm going to go back in with another blending brush. You can use the same like smaller tapered blending brush that I used earlier, but I'm just gonna use a different one. I'm using this NYX number 16 brush brush number 16 brush and I'm going into ginger and I'm just gonna kind of sort of diffuse that liner out just a bit I don't want it to look too much like a defined wing I more so want it to be kind of like a dusty dusty is that the right word that's not the right word like a diffused wing and kind of just rub it across that liner to kind of get rid of that super harsh line but you want to leave it enough to where you can kind of still see that line right there. And again, that's going to be cleaned up once we, oh, that looks good. Once we put on the, um, the foundation. You guys kind of see it? So the eyes are being pulled up just naturally with that shadow. And I'm kind of leaving this like lid area blank because I am keeping this look very simple. So the goal is to do as minimal steps as possible. Now you can go in with a liner and kind of like add that little stick thing right in the inner of your eye. I'm not going to do that because one on me that my eyes, the way my eyes go, like that kind of technique will literally just puddle in like that little crease in my eye. All right, let's put on mascara first and then I'll make a decision on if I wanna put on some lashes. I'm just gonna put on mascara on my um, upper lash because we still need to do the rest of our face. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it with no lashes. I mean, obviously lashes will make this very kind of like super, super sultry, but I don't really wear lashes like that to begin with. So I'm not gonna necessarily make that much of a difference there. I think I'm just gonna keep my regular old lashes. They do what they need to do. We're gonna come back and finish the eyes, but I need to do the rest of my face first. So I'm gonna actually mix foundations. So I've been running outside and it's been hot. And I feel like in the matter of a week, I've gotten like half a shade darker. Maybe I'm tripping, but Chai is definitely still my shade, but I feel like I've added just like a bit more deepness to my skin. And so Chai is like a hair too light right now, which freaking sucks because I just bought this foundation. But I'm gonna take Chai. So I'm gonna take like a full pump of that. And I'm gonna take the slightest pump of the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS in the shade Veneris, that much. Now I'm going to take my clean NYX Professional Makeup Brush in the brush number three. I was about to say in the shade number three. That don't make no sense. In brush three, and this is like the little buffing brush that I freaking love. This is such a good brush. So let's blend that out and see what that mix of colors is doing. Okay. Yeah. I just needed like a, a tinge of that red to come in. So see, now putting on that foundation, you can definitely see the, the eyeliner a bit more. Once I put on the concealer, easy read. It looks like I'm aggressively hitting my face because I am. <laughs> I noticed that in my other video, I'd be like freaking pounding my face. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting Concealer, the same concealer I use to scope under my brows. I'm going to apply that to my under eye. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> and to really make like this eyeliner super pop on my eye, I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amond or Amonde, and I'm going to pop that like right here, like right underneath 
that eyeliner because I really want that to stand out. And this shade is a hair lighter than the chai shade and has always been like my go-to. I do need to re-up so your girl is running low. I'm literally just taking that right here and I'm sort of carving out, boom, pam, pop, bada bop, boop. I'm gonna take my flat side of my Real Technique sponge because I need to keep that edge as sharp as possible to blend that out. I'm going to finally set my eyes before they start creasing. So now I'm going to actually set the rest of my face as well, just so we don't have some parts looking matte and some parts looking oily. I'm just gonna apply that here. I'm kind of gonna go in circular motions. For the piece de resistance, we need to bronze. I'm using the Minted Cosmetics, you already know the deal. I've talked about this bronzer so much. And I'm using their bronzer in the Deep Shade Season 2. I'm gonna take it on my nose for a slight chisel. Right there, I kind of bring it, start it from like, whatever this part of your eye is called, <laughs> down the bridge of the nose, not too down just kind of like to this point before my nose starts to kind of flip out. Face done. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now I'm going to finish the rest of the eye. So first we're gonna line the bottom of our lash line with a brown, dark brown eyeliner. And this is from Revlon, their So Fierce Final Eyeliner. And this is the shade Mate Mocha. See, that already makes this look look like a bit more I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to use that same flat eyeliner brush and I'm gonna stamp credit right underneath my eyes. And I'm not really going to bring it out this way. Usually I would like kind of diffuse a shadow more over here, but I wanna keep it concentrated because essentially I want this to just look like it's going upwards. And I'm gonna apply ginger and then rub that Underneath credit to kind of just diffuse the color. I sort of like that super smoky under eye. But I am going to just finish off with a more glossy lip. Should I do glossy or matte? Mm, I really prefer glossy lips these days. So I'm going in with the Beauty Bakery Chocolate for Breakfast Lip Whip. And this is like a brown shade. I'm just gonna use that to heavily line my lips. That's a bit more warm brown. Let me see how like a semi-cool brown. I'm gonna take that same eyeliner. I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. I'm going to slightly, just slightly, slightly, slightly line my lips with it. Cause I think this is a more cool brown. I'm gonna take an NYX Abu Dhabi and I'm just gonna apply a little bit in the center. I do feel like the matteness kind of adds to like the vibe of the look, so I guess I'll keep it that for now or whatever. So I lay my edges a little bit, ignore my hair. I'm stalling on taking out these mini twists. Like, I need to take them out, but I'm like, maybe I can just keep them in for like another week. Cause they are a great protective style. And I'm putting my hair in a ponytail because when you put your hair in a ponytail, it automatically lifts your face up. It just, I don't know, it does something where it just makes your eyes go. <laughs> now I'm gonna get some earrings real quick and then we're gonna come back and sign off this video. Mm -hmm. All right, earrings on. I think I'm gonna add a bit more brown to this lip. I just feel like I want it to be more brown. Hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah, that just feels a bit more like with the vibes. Fan me out, fan me out. And that is the final look, y'all. Third time's a charm. <laughs> so yeah, this is the fox eye look. Again, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's essentially a cat eye, just using more like eyeshadow and more diffusion. But you know, looking forward, you can kind of see that my eyes feel a bit more pulled up, a bit more elevated, a bit more lifted. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching per the usual. And as always, I will catch y'all in my next video. Until next time. Bye. How did I win half when I flipped it in a double? How did I win half when I flipped it in a double?